he as a personality has a Nachklang all his own. You can listen to Slezak and then not listen to him for six months and then think about him and you can conjure within yourself his affect. Can this be said about others? Very few. He has, according to me, a weakness that stems from his vocal technique. He sets forward for us just what that technique is in the dialogue before the song in Herbst Manoeuvre. He says, Fordner, Fordner. Well, his voice placement was so Fordner that certain syllables seemingly get lost in his nose. Sie müssen das Ei mit offenen Mund ziehen. Ei, 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 ja, ja, hin. Zillinger, vorne, Zillinger, vorne. Ich richtig mich hinein. Ei, 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 Ei. Das Ei ist viel zu hart. Sie müssen ein weiches Ei singen. you, he woos you, he caresses you, he makes love to the song. The song sung by just about anybody else one could imagine would be trivial, would be kitsch. When he does it, it becomes delicious art. <laughs> Good on 
Emphasizing resolutions of dissonances, notes that occur on weak beats. You don't find that with Slezak. Instead, he will build towards an abortatura or other dissonance by making a crescendo. Once the dissonance is passed, he will make a diminuendo and thereby he reflects in the vocal line what is happening harmonically. He mirrors the harmonic structure. The synagogue tradition preserved florid singing into the 1950s and 60s just as Yiddish embodies to a degree medieval German, so orthodox cantorial practice embodies certain things that were done in opera houses in the 18th and early 19th centuries. So Schmidt is giving us a glimpse albeit in Hebrew, of the kind of, of floored singing that flourished in Italy in Rossini's day. On April 1st, 1933, Hitler's regime made it impossible for Schmidt to continue because of a law banning Jews from working for the government. He returned to Berlin in connection with the opening of his fourth film, Ein Lied geht um die Welt. Goebbels was in the audience, so enthusiastic was he that he wanted to declare Schmidt an honorary Aryan, but that did not come to pass. Much of the rest of Schmidt's life involved flight from the Nazis. He fled to France, then to unoccupied France, then crossed the border illegally in Switzerland, where he was interned in a kind of work camp. He was hospitalized because of serious bronchitis and laryngitis. Recovering from that, he complained of chest pains, but ended up having to write, they take me for a malingerer. He was sent back to the work camp where he died of a heart attack at age 38. An hour before he sang, 